morning everybody hope everybody's doing good this is margaret from alabama prepper i went over to the garden this morning and i was shocked at what i found this is just part of them it's not all of them it's just part of them but i went over wednesday afternoon and got everything that was ready and i said well they'll be okay till saturday morning well, when I got over there this morning, I mean, I've got another basket full in there. But anyhow, today we are going to put up squash, or, or put it this way, we're, we're gonna we're gonna can squash for short term use. And uh, what that means is, if you, we're gonna put them in the freezer, uh, if you. If you're gonna use them for short term, if you think you're gonna use them within like six months, they'll be fine in the freezer without blanching. You won't have to blanch them. But I've washed them, uh, drying them all off. We're gonna cut them up. And I'll show you, got my pan here. And I'm gonna try to show you here. Oh. Let me get one more bowl. Never have enough bowls. But anyhow, we're going to cut the ends off. These were kind of big, but I think they're okay. They'll be fine for what. So what we're going to do is cut them in about this size right here for frying. It's, it's a good size. May cut them just a little bit bigger, let's see. Maybe we'll go just a little bit thicker, about like that. So, we're going to get these cut up. And, and you know, um, last weekend, my grandson, one of my grandsons, my, my son that, that lives in Niceville, his son graduated. And we went up to, uh, they live in Niceville. That's about a two-hour drive from us. And uh, I was so excited. We were going to be out in the country driving at Ural, or Ural Road. And I wanted to see people's gardens. Well, let me tell you what, people. There are no gardens. I found one little house and all these and all the places that we went, or the roads that we drove in, I found maybe one house that had a garden. Or I say, let me put it this way, had maybe squash and tomatoes planted, but no garden. I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know if it's a, it's a generation you know, see these look good. The seeds are good on them. I don't know if it's a generation or what, but there were no gardens, not at the, not at these houses. And you know, I of course I'm a lot older. I'm I'm almost seventy years old. I don't mind telling anybody how old I am. Oh, I've always had a garden. You know, we've always planted something. Now, we've got over at the farm, over where my son lives, uh, we have a farm over there. And we've planted potatoes, tomatoes, squash, cucumbers, peas, corn, butter beans. Um, we've done dug our potatoes. They've done real good. We dug them, and I put up just about all of them. And... Um, we just love a garden. I mean, I do what I can, but also in today's time, I'm telling you people, you better be prepping. It's uh, things is going to get a lot worse before they get a lot better. <laughs> Put up you some food, store you some food. If you don't have a garden, that's fine. You don't, you know, there's plenty, the farmer's markets, oh, there's plenty of places that you can get vegetables and things out. But,
prep, put you up some food, and prepare. Now we are going. I'm gonna spray my little thing here, a little bit, my pan. I've got this baking pan, and I'm going to get me some flour. Now, um, I see a lot of videos where people use meal on their squash. I don't use meal on my squash. Um, I'm going to put, when I put my squash up, I don't, I don't use meal. We've never used meal. We always just flour our squash when we put them up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our squash that we can that we cut up, and this is going to be about a pan full, and we're going to flour them. We're going to go ahead and flour them, shake the flour off, and put them on the pan. Now, when I when we do this, we're going to take them and put them in the freezer. Put them on top of your stuff in the, in your chest right freezer or your right freezer one and uh, let them stay. It take them about 12 hours probably to, uh, to freeze. And when they get through freezing, then you take them and put them froze in a bag. That way they do not stick. I, I see a lot of videos where they just pile their squash in their in their bags but they're all mashed up well this will not you put it in your freezer and you let it all uh, you let them freeze and then when you take them out they're individual put them in your bag and put them in your freezer that way they're not all uh, mashed up and froze so, like I say, we don't we don't use the meal. We use we use flour. We flour our squash. So these will be ready uh, when you get ready to cook them. You take them out of the freezer. Have your have your uh, oil just about ready to cook them. I wouldn't. I mean, if you can fry them without letting them thaw out, it will be better. But all you have to do, take them and put them in, uh, in your pan and fry them. And they'll be just as good as, as they were if they were fresh. So this is a short term. If you're, you know, if you think you're going to eat your squash pretty quick, you can do this. You don't have to blanch them. They'll be fine. They're ready to go in the frying pan. All you have to do is um, take them out, have your grease ready, uh, salt them, season them or whatever you want, and put them in the freezer. It's, um, I mean, it, it, it's the way to go. We will be canning some in the jars. I will be doing that a little bit later. But I had so many this morning. It's, it's a Saturday. I think I'm going to have my grandbaby again this afternoon, so... I'm trying to get this done and get them in the freezer, and I believe I'm gonna have two pans of them. But anyhow, when we get through, um, when they get froze, I'll get back with you, and I'll show you what they look like and show you how we're gonna put them up. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, it's been about three hours since we cut up our squash and put them in the freezer. I had two pans. I've got another pan in there. While they were getting ready, I went out and I put out two gallons of Roundup and just done all kind of stuff. So our squash is froze. So we're gonna pick them up. You hear them when you pick them up. They're froze, they sound like they 
get them all up. You can put as many as you can get in a bag that you, well, those are froze. This is a, an easy way to put up your squash. And, and like I say, I, I know they'll last about six months. Of course, they're not going to last us about six months, but they, they will last about six months. But uh, all you have to do is heat up your grease. Uh, take your squash out of the freezer, put them in the, you know, put them in your pan and they'll start freezing. This is an easy process. And I'm telling you people, uh, start prepping. I mean, things are getting so bad. Our, our grocery stores is going up, everything. See how, if you can see how loose they are, they're not stuck together. I mean, just get what you want out of the, the bag and that's it. Start prepping. I went in the grocery store this week and uh, oh, things were so high. I, all, all had went up so high. So much. Start trying to prep. Buy a few cans here and there. Can what you can. Put, put things up. Put vegetables up. This is easy to do. Get you some squash. Find your local farmer's market. Um, put you some squash in the freezer. Do anything you can to help you a little later on when things really get bad. I hope you have enjoyed this and we'll be putting on some more videos trying to help you tips and ideas of how to get prepared for whatever's ahead. Hope you enjoyed our uh, video. If you did, please like us, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to us and help us to grow. And I thank you so much for watching our video today and God bless and you have a good day. Thank you.